Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Jamie Ian Swiss DVD card on ceiling. But first of all, Avaganda at this. If you're like me and you're constantly trying to up your game with a deck of cards, you want to be an expert, you don't just want to know a couple of tricks, you want to be really knowledgeable, then go and check out cardmagiccourse.com. It's my online resource. It is everything I know with a deck of cards. Uh, there's 180 plus videos on there and it's just had an overhaul. There's moves, theory, help with performance, and you can always email if there's something on there that you, don't, uh, that you can't see, and I'll do what I can to create more content for you. So it's a really bespoke learning experience. Uh, so if you go through that from beginning to end, if you're a serious beginner or you're already established, you're going to know so much more than most people with a deck of cards. Uh, so cardmagiccourse.com and there are a few free previews on there. If you go onto Card Controls Volume 2, you'll get a free preview of the spread card. Uh, and one more thing, very important, please like and subscribe down there. Hit the bell so you'll get notifications and don't forget to look in the comments bit at the end. There'll be all the links and the info you need on the product and of course the card course. Here's the review. So this is a trick that's always fascinated me, uh, mainly because it's brilliant, okay? That's one thing. The other thing uh, is that I used to do it quite a lot. I never did it loads, but as I was learning, I had a bit of a disaster with it. I threw the deck up, it came down, um, red wine spill went over a woman's white dress, and it was, I was hideous. She was, very, she was very gracious about it, but it wasn't pretty, and oh God. Uh, it wasn't nice. If you if you don't know the routine, you get someone to sign a card. That card goes into the deck. You lose it in the deck. You wrap an elastic band or or something else around the card, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, throw the deck at the ceiling. The deck comes down, leaving one card uh, on the ceiling. That's the classic routine. And this DVD, as is fairly obvious, goes into that. And, and, and it's quite a good uh, thing that this is is out. I think because when I was learning this, and I know there's more on it now, but when I was learning this, I think there was only two places I could find it. And don't forget, it wasn't the communities weren't the same back then, and it, it was a bit harder to find stuff. And it was in my Lamar's, I think it was Encore Free where he wrote that up, which is the version I think that most people were doing uh, after that. Uh, and before that, I know it was on the Doc Eason DVD, and I'm, uh, as Jamie says in this, it was in a couple of the books, which, we'll, which again we'll talk about in a second. So this is quite a nice little thing, really. You get a DVD which shows you three versions, different versions of the trick, and the stories and the history around them. And... I'll go straight into the pros and cons. The first thing is it's Jamie and Swiss. Now, I like watching DVDs from people who have been there and done it. And I mean, look at his work. His books uh, are great. The, the new Johnny Thompson book is just stunning. I am going to review that and talk about it, but it's going to take me about 16 years to read it. So I might have to break my golden rule and review it before reading it all. But um, he's someone that's been around the block, and I hope he doesn't take that the wrong way. <laughs> you know, he's no spring chicken, and he's 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 been working this trick for years, and also been with people that have worked this trick. This isn't just a DVD of him showing you the three ways to do it. What I like about it, and which is becoming more important the older I get, is that it goes into the kind of stories and the creation of these routines and the people. Uh, who created them and that like, is becoming more important to me. I am getting a lot of enjoyment and motivation from listening to these stories. I remember when I was first becoming a professional magician, I was a street performer and I got a booking out in Portugal and I went out there and I didn't know loads and loads about magic then. I'd, I'd done magic as a hobby but I'd, I hadn't been in the community and all of a sudden I'm sitting at a table with Tina Leonard, Mike Caveney, Stan Allen, um, uh, who was it? Johnny Thompson. You know, <laughs> who was it? Oh, Johnny Thompson. <laughs> Wasn't that I forgot him? I just kind of, you know, um, and Pam. And it was like I was sitting around the table with, and I'm not name dropping because this was an unusual thing. This was like, hey, we were sitting around shooting the shit. It was, it was like a problem. And uh, and I was with these people, going, and, and uh, Rich McDougall was there, and he was saying, do you understand who these people is? And I was going, not really, and then I did, and it was, but it, it was incredible. It was, a, it was a, an amazing introduction to, to professional magic, really. But my point is, I, I remember listening to their stories, listening to the stories that, that they were telling, after years of telling these stories, sitting around a table about 
things that have gone wrong in Magic and the people in Magic and the history of the stuff going on in Vegas. And it was just joyous. And listening to Jamie tell the sort of tell the stories here was a little bit like that. It was like sitting back and listening to someone who, you know, in the old days with JC Wagner and Doc Easton and Eric Mead, Bob Sheets all working these bars and, and where the sort of bar magic thing started really. And, that, and I loved the way they painted the picture of that. So once you get into the tricks, it was really nice to have that grounding and have that of that information really and it kind of whets your appetite for learning the tricks um what is also nice is that all the free routines have been worked to death okay it's not like here's an idea you could try it's like we've done this we've tried it and this works so the first one is the jc wagner one and this was the one that scares the i mean to do this would really um scare me and i'd, I'd, I'd love to try it but it's, it, it's the original version with the thumbtack so you put the thumbtack in um you wrap a elastic band around you show the thumbtack that, that you're putting in uh, and then you wrap you wrap a, a, a note around it, so it's kind of impossible the way that the card ends up in the deck, getting past the thumbtack, getting past the, the elastic band, and, and onto the ceiling. But what you can see is how the card is is kept there, which is different from the adhesion one, which the Michael Amar, the one that I read in Michael Amar, and that Jamie Dutton teaches later a version of. Um, and I'm not saying who originated it; I really don't know who originated the the adhesion one but it's a different trick really because you can see the cards like impossibly adhere to the ceiling because you can't see what's holding it up so the two differences here are you've got the thumbtack one where it's impossible how to get out of the deck past that under the thumbtack onto the ceiling you've got the, the sticky one um i'd never thought of it that way before and once i saw that thumbtack one i was kind of thinking man i really want to do that you know because that's that's great so the original one is but then i suppose you're limited on what ceilings you can do it on and it's a little bit more scary because it might not stick up there and it's got to be a little bit more accurate so you've got the jc wagner one with the note wrapped around and then you've got the uh, scotty york one which is this very similar but what happens is someone else or you in a different hand you have the the note and the cards and the elastic band around in this hand and in this hand you have a thumbtack you have a thumbtack and you throw them both up and so it looks like you've thrown the thumbtack up and that's what's stuck the card to the ceiling, which is really, which is really amazing, eh? So, uh, and, and in the, the DVD, he gets someone, he gets the barman to do it. So the barman throws it up, Jamie throws the de deck up and they both stick to the ceiling, which is brilliant. Uh, so if, you want, if you're doing it in a bar where you want to end up with loads of cards to the ceiling, I think the, the thumbtack one is probably the way because it just looks... It looks better and it's more repeatable as well because there's nothing to hide because you're showing the thumbtack, you're showing how you're getting it there. Um, so you've got those two versions and then you've got Jamie's version, which is more in line with what a lot of people are doing using the stickiness. Um, I'm not going to go into anything more than that, but most people know what I mean. But what is nice is what's difficult about the trick is when and how you deliver the thing that makes the trick possible, uh, which is all I'm going to say. And I've always struggle with this a little bit so the the original one in in uncle three i think had this this box you, you carried a little box around you had the elastic bands in the box which i've been i've done and it, it kind of does work and uh, it's got this joke about secrets and secrets but we don't have that in the uk anyway so it makes no sense but i used to just get this you know i put it in the box because elastic bands are hard to carry in your pockets they kind of get lost and and that's how i justified the box but it always kind of i don't know that it felt a bit faffy uh and this has this is card on ceiling device that you make you make in two minutes it's not like a to say it's a gimmick is you know it's something you've already got and you put a couple of things together and you've got it and it's really nice it's really self-contained it's not going to take up any space and you've got a way of everything flowing and before you throw that card up it's you've got all the misdirection in the world to do what you got to do and it's pretty easy so that is a really nice addition for me i've never seen it this self-contained card to ceiling thing and Basically, uses the sharpie, and I think I can say that, um, but in a way that's you would, that isn't so obvious. Uh, so you've got a, a, what I liked about it is that you've got a real evolution of this trick just on three tricks. That, you know, it doesn't show you twenty-five versions because you don't need it. It shows you three versions that show how the tricks evolve, and each one have their merit. And I'd actually like to perform each one of them if I can ever ever get the nerve to do the do the early ones. And it's re it has really got me into the idea of performing it again. So I look forward to it, and I will report back if if you remind me. I'll um. I'll take it out and, and, 
and do the trick and I'll be all pleased with myself because I've got over my little ridiculous fear of ruining someone's dress with, with red wine. Uh, so I really like the DVD. It's great. It's not too long. You know, you can sit there and watch it. It feels like you're watching something with a beginning, a middle and an end. You know, it's not seven DVDs of the stuff because I do think we, we don't need... I do end up... I, I kind of like short. I think it's about an hour long. Yeah, 67 minutes long. Um, and it has real world performances in it. Jamie does all of these versions in a bar with an audience that are reacting to the thing and and that's what i like as well it is sometimes nice to come out of the studio into a bar and see and see the trick being performed and the rhythms of it and, and that will give you so much insight and inspiration um, so that is the card on ceiling dvd uh, by jamie ian swiss i uh, look forward to your comments please check out card magic course and please like and subscribe and i will love you forever and if you share it wow that would be awesome uh, take care have a great one cheers Thank <laughs> you.